Is our country breaking a promise made to Minnesota Red Bulls who served overseas? Tonight, we have found out hundreds of Red Bulls still have not been paid after multiple tours of duty in Iraq and Kuwait. ABC 6 News anchor James Wilcox is live in our Rochester newsroom with what's holding things up. James? Betsy, back in October, the Pentagon promised to pay all those Red Bull soldiers. Some have received their checks, but others are still waiting and wondering why. These are the numbers for Staff Sergeant Ryan Schmidt. Three tours of duty, two countries, three years of total deployments. What's he still owed for all that? He says about $7,000. How do you make a promise to somebody and then take it back? I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how people can ju justify doing that. He's a proud soldier in the National Guard who's waited nearly a year for a paycheck he says he badly needs. To make sure I could provide for my family yeah, and then not... Uh, just trying to get by right now is always a struggle. Last October, the Pentagon told nearly 500 Red Bulls who qualified for the back-to-back -back deployment pay that the red tape in Congress had been worked out and soldiers would be paid. But so far, only about half of those soldiers have received paychecks. And we've paid around 200, 215 soldiers thus far. Lieutenant Colonel Matt Vatter told us he understands the frustration and how citizens might not understand why the Pentagon requires so much red tape. We have U.S. code that we have to worry about. We have headquarters, Department of the Army policies that have to be uh, a, a, attended to. We've got to make sure that soldiers are eligible based on all of those guidelines. So the money is on its way for the Red Bull still waiting, but not all are buying the promise. You can show me the paperwork, um, but until I actually have cash in hand, I don't believe anything until I see it. The National Guard says the remaining Red Bulls will get their money no later than October. However, the goal is to get it to them sooner than that, hopefully sometime this spring. Reporting live in the Rochester Newsroom tonight, James Wilcox, ABC 6 News.